Kortali MLA Alina Saldana resigned as the MLA of the BJP. She said that she is very unhappy about anyone joining the BJP and there is no respect for those in the party. She also highlighted that she attended a meeting yesterday wherein she didn't like of one, what one minister said. She also came down heavy on the BJP over the three linear projects and said that one cannot destroy people's life in the name of development. Watch to what she has to say. I have resigned for valid reasons. I have resigned because the party that late Matani Saldanya had joined and after his demise, I stepped into his shoes, is no longer the same party. The party seems to have forgotten all its principles and there is bedlam in the state, okay? Nobody knows who's coming into the party, nobody knows who's going out of the party. And uh, I attended the meeting yesterday of the party and there was one sentence, I will not mention the sentence, but there was a certain sentence that was made by one of the stalwart leaders of the party that made me realize that it is time I left the party. Do anything in haste, no matter who tries to persuade me, I will weigh the pros and cons. I will consult with the people of my of the constituency and accordingly I Madam, Madam, but to me two thousand twenty two contest quarterly election. Yes. To me contest quarterly. Quarterly. Okay. Lokache ani Lokache ami Nisanton Korum Zainami and in development that Nawar Nisanton cannot become legal okay. okay or right. So to me the industry party joined Kutli Tencha Food and Tumchi yet sir Munya still regarding three linear projects. See, I have to study the other two projects, but yes, highway, I'm quite convinced because highway passes through the wildlife sanctuary, okay? And uh, I was a forest minister. I know the rules, the laws that govern a wildlife sanctuary. I know what can be allowed and cannot be allowed in a wildlife sanctuary. And regarding railway double tracking, you will be opposed? Totally against it. See, I have to study the other two projects, but yes, highway, I'm quite convinced because highway passes through the wildlife sanctuary, okay? And uh, I was a forest minister. I know the rules, the laws that govern a wildlife sanctuary. I know what can be allowed and cannot be allowed in a wildlife sanctuary. And regarding railway double tracking, you will be opposed? Totally against. Man, you have told. It will be the destruction of the lives of the people. Hundreds of houses will be destroyed and I took the Honorable Chief Minister on the tracks to show him where the second track will land because I was informed by the Southwest, no, by the, by uh, one railway, of the authorities. Uh, railway authorities that from the center of the existing track you need 14 meters to lay the second track and I personally marked the 14 meters and in almost all cases the the marking landed inside the compound of these houses okay. and in in certain cases it landed on the veranda of the houses will the people be able to live in those houses some of those houses are built some of those houses are newly constructed on the old plinth Okay, the men, the, the men have gone away from their families to earn so that they can make a home for their family. Shall we destroy it? For what benefit? That's the question.